welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty Dollar Tree Mercury Glass Pumpkin Candle Holders. Now, if you don't want to put candles in here, which I am using these little battery-powered LED lights, if you don't want to use those, you know, you can use a string of fairy lights or whatever else you want to put in there. But anyway, stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Hey y'all, let us get started. First off, what you're going to need, one of these beautiful, beautiful orange candle holders from Dollar Tree. I was very surprised when I saw these at my Dollar Tree because they look like they would cost a lot more than a dollar. And look at the inside there. And when you put a candle inside these little spaces here that doesn't have the metallic paint on it, you can see it through these holes. It's, it's a beautiful effect, I think. So you're gonna need one of those. You're also going to need one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need some spray paint. I'm using this Krylon Fusion All-in-One in the color Metallic Dark Copper because I want to keep all this sort of like a metallic look, okay? So anyway, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this spray paint and I'm going to go paint the base. Now, before you paint it, you want to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol because you know you have oils in your skin and that's going to mess with your paint adhesion if you're like me you wear a lot of uh, hand cream you know that'll mess with it as well um someone had commented on a previous video they're like well you didn't tell us to clean it with alcohol before you glued on the embellishments that's pretty much common knowledge at this point okay um i say that in 90 percent of the videos where i'm painting or gluing things on if you're painting or gluing anything like this, you know, glass, hard plastic, anything like that, you need to clean it with rubbing alcohol, okay? So anyway, I'm going to clean this and I'm gonna spray paint it and then we're gonna come back. Okay, so our paint has dried. I really, really like this paint. I love that color. I love it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now is we are going to glue this down to this. Oh, look, I didn't take the label off. You're not going to see it. You can't even see it from the inside. So you know what? We're not even going to worry about that. So now we're going to take this and our E6000 and we're going to put it right along this edge here because this isn't perfectly round. So, you know, if you if you put this E6000 on your candle holder there, because it is round, you're probably um, going to have the glue in places that you don't want it. So I'm just going around, going around. There we go. That should be plenty because this stuff really does hold. You don't need a whole lot. Let's just wipe it off there. I'm just going to put the lid back on. And now we're just going to stick it down like so. We'll press it down really well. And then I'm just going to leave it. 24 hours, I'm going to leave it. Okay, so just like that let it set up and then after it has set up we're going to start to decorate it okay so the kittens are over here playing making noise um but the glue has set up and this is what we have so far i really love this paint i don't like the paint that's under my nails right now but <laughs> um and i'm really i'm really liking this um candle holder here but now what i want to do is i want to make something with the lid because you know we're trying to make this look like a pumpkin so we need a lid now, this lid here, I'm going to tell you what this comes off of. It comes off these big, huge candles. This one's almost done, and I just started burning this one. If you think Yankee Candle smells good, you're going to love these. These are so, so good. This scent is the Praline Caramel Sticky Bun, and it comes from Amazon from a company called Keepers of the Light. Okay, and then they have these really nice metal lids, so... I keep the lids and I keep the jars. <laughs> Y'all know I keep all kinds of stuff like that in my craft room. And this lid is perfect. Look, it is a perfect, perfect fit for this. So anyway, if you want to try their candles, I'll link to them down below. Now, if you don't have this, you know what? Um, when you find these, just measure it. I think the inside, because I was looking for something that Mike could sit down in it, is like three almost four inches and then if you measure on the outside here i believe this is right at four inches um so keep that in mind and you know you can go to dollar tree you can find just anything that has a lid on it and use that okay but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint this lid the same color as this like i said i have two of them so i'm going to paint both lids and then we'll decorate them 
All right, so let's get our old crafting towel here so I can lay this down without it banging around or clanging or making racket. But anyway, I want to decorate up the front of it a little bit. And I got these at Joann's, uh, when was it yesterday I got it? They were on sale, 60% off. This brand, the Hildy and Joe, all of their beads and things were on sale. And I'm like, how pretty is that? Now listen, if you don't have a craft store where you can buy beads like this, go to Walmart and try to find some earrings. You can look at the necklaces, bracelets. Always look at stuff like that and think, can I take that apart and turn it into something else? Because I'm doing that all the time too. But anyway, I thought that was really, really pretty. And what I want to do is just make a little decoration to sort of hang down the front. And I like this leaf here and with these beads up top so pretty. And so if we can see right here, there's just that little jump ring that's holding it on to that leaf. I'm thinking I want to take that off right there and just have that hang down. I think that would be pretty. So let's try to take off this jump ring here. Where did my doohickey go? Here it is. I hate when I lose my doohickey. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab it like so. And I did have another pair of pliers over here somewhere. I don't exactly know where they are. All my jewelry making stuff, I kind of put it away. But anyway, you can see we have the jump ring open like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this, this cording. Let's see if it will fit down in there. It should. Can y'all hear the kitty cats <laughs> over there meowing? I know these are wire cutters. Somebody's out there said, no, don't do that. You'll risk cutting your jump ring. I've been making jewelry a long time. Let me do my thing. Okay, and I think that's closed. What I'm gonna do basically is tie this around the top. Okay, so that's gonna be our first one. And now I'm gonna put another one on there, but I want it to be shorter. So let's get this again. We can see, okay, I wanna keep that one and that one. So let's keep this one with the two beads here and that will be our shorter one. Is this two pieces? No, it's not two pieces. All right, but anyway, let me take this one apart and then I'm gonna fasten this one to that rope as well. Okay, instead of fastening it around the rope, what I did, if you can see, focus, I just fastened it through that loop right there. Anyway, fun fact, uh, back in the day, I was really into cutting gemstones and it's called uh, the Art of Lapidary. And I took my courses in Charlotte. Henry Hill was my teacher and he stopped teaching once he started losing his hearing. Um, because you do not cut gemstones by sight, you cut them by sound. If you can't hear, you can't cut. So um, yeah, I miss him, he was a real sweet, sweet guy. Okay, so that's what we have. All right, so now, and I, I left way too much rope over here. Okay, I'll tell you that right now. But let's just cut this. It's okay, I'll just save it and use it for another project. But everything that I'm doing to this little orange guy right here, I'm doing it to the other one as well. So what we're going to do is see, we're just going to start it right here. I'm wrapping it around. And then I'm going to bring it around again. And then I'm going to bring it back around to the back and I'll just tie it. Like so. And this rope holds very, very well. So I'm just going to tie it and try to get that knot. Okay, you see how that knot looks pretty smooth? And I'm going to tie it once more. And then I'll put like a little spot of E6000 on it to hold it in place. But there is that. I'm really liking this kitty. They don't want to talk to you. All right, so now I'm going to cut this. Just get it even. And then, where did my E6000 go? This here, I'm just going to put a little dot on it. Just a little bit right there. Just kind of rub that in. And then once that sets up and dries, you're not going to be able to see it. There we go. My camera cut off. My battery died. I thought I, I had it plugged in. Apparently it was not plugged in. Let's adjust this again. Apparently it was not plugged in like I thought it was. But anyway, this is what we have and I really like it. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other little orange candle holder that I have. And now we're just waiting for the paint to dry on the lid. When that paint's dry, we will come back and decorate it. 
Okay, so the paint has dried on this lid. Now, what are these? These are, you know, those little bags of sticks and, you know, little pieces of wood that you can get from the Dollar Tree? That's what these are, okay? And I just spray painted them in the same bronze color that we did here. All right, so we're going to make these look pumpkin-like, okay? And to do that, that's why I painted these, because I'm going to make those the little stem to go on top. And we're going to be using some of this brown Spanish moss, not the green, like, reindeer moss. We're going to be using this brown kind. This right here came from Dollar Tree, and you can get that pretty much any craft store. But anyway, I've got my hot glue gun fired up over here. And let me see which end I want to put here. I love the colors of this. I really do. I love uh, bronze, copper. I'm not a big gold fan, um, but I love bronze and copper. Okay, now I don't want a whole bunch of this like sticking out everywhere. So I'm just going to try to pull out a little bit. And yeah, I'm making a mess. It's okay. I'll clean it up here in a little bit. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this hot glue here and here and then we're just going to stick this down and then I'm going to do this all the way around the lid I'm going to stick it to my finger that's what I'm going to do did I mention jewelry already I can't remember this is a process that's been spread over like two days or something but anyway paparazzi if I've already mentioned it forgive me but anyway, the link down below in the description box that says paparazzi, just click on that and then click on the shop tab and you can find all of this awesome like $5 jewelry that I'm wearing here. All right, so all of this is down. Where's my scissors? Now all this excess that's sticking out here, I'm just going to trim it away. I can talk about jewelry during the awkward silences when I'm making things or <laughs> waiting for the glue to set up. All right, here we go. And I might, you see this here? I might have to put some more right there. But um, let's just trim this down. And then I'm going to stick it on top of here. And Now, this is pretty enough without this lid, okay? But because we're going into the fall season, that's why I'm making this lid to go on top, okay? To make it look more like a pumpkin. And there we go. That is what the lid is going to look like. I need to move this rope down just a tiny little bit. There we go. That's better. And then, of course, it will fit on there. There we go. Once I get it all set up. But how pretty is that? How pretty! So I am going to add just a little bit more, I think, right here and right here. And then I'm going to decorate up the other candle holder that I have. Let me get them set together and take a picture for y'all. But listen, if you don't have the um, the battery-powered LED lights to go in here, you can, you know, use like a string of fairy lights, the little battery-powered LED fairy lights or something like that. It doesn't matter because the light is still going to shine through all of these little holes here, okay? And you really can't see through. You're not really going to know if there's an actual candle in there or not. I mean, if you get close to it, you might. But um, anyway, how cute is that? So let me get a picture and I'll put it at the end of the video. But anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.